today we are back in car mechanics cinema 2021 yeah finally the current year um so today now i've actually been playing this a little bit to try to get us a little money and try to give us up a level because i think level five was allowing us to go to the junkyard and stuff but we're going to, have to do some more because i actually went to the junkyard and you know the cars are like 10 grand we don't have 10 grand but i did um change the shop around a little bit we do have kind of like a new style flooring and stuff like that and i did do the expansion to bring it over because i needed some room now i did it off camera because i didn't want to have to you know keep grinding and grinding small jobs you know oil changes stuff like that i do want to get into you know building some really cool cars and everything but today we are going to help out a customer now this car little car here actually has a backstory um good morning would you be able to help me it's my first car it might not be the perfect car but it is my i totally understand the irl too <laughs> it's like i've always dreamed about one like this so i finally managed to save some cash and i started looking immediately it seemed that i might have gotten a bit carried away i heard that this doesn't bode well uh, the salesman said the brakes need repair and the rest is in perfect condition. This morning I heard a banging in the back and it pulls to the right. Um, I hope it's not serious. I'll borrow some cash if necessary. But I hope it's just the brakes. I can't wait to hit the road again. Please do a checkup and place what you need. Alright, so we do know we're going to replace the brakes and stuff. And it's pulling to the right so we probably got some steering. Wants us to fix the front bumper change the oil and refill the windshield washer fluid all right so first thing is um i think we're going to go clean let's go ahead and clean you know this is guy's dream car well we got we got to take care of it i mean this is like a v8 mullet machine right here you know yes we do so we're going to go ahead and fix that and then we'll go ahead and clean it and everything are we good okay got the water on the floor i love that i wish you could actually spray it though kind of if you ever play like diesel brothers and stuff when you had to like knock the paint off the vehicles and stuff kind of wish it was kind of like that um that was a good little aspect of the game and everything like that all right so got the mullet here let's rock and roll buddy yeah um let's see now i actually got some cool tools and everything so we're going to go over this thing and you know, basically check everything out. We're going to run the OB uh, D scanner. See if we have any problems. Alright, we got a ignition coil bad. Um, we got two, three, four, spark, five spark plugs bad. We got another two ignition coils bad. Um, Alright, so we definitely want to fix those for them. Now, we, don't, we only have 4,100, so we kind of have to watch spending their money. Um, let's do a fuel pressure test. We want it to be good for the guy, but I'm not going to take all of his money. Alright, so bad fuel rail. Alright, looks like we got one bad one. And then let's go over here. We'll check all the fuses. Hopefully they're all good. They're not too expensive. Some of them, one of them is like 30 bucks, which it's relay basically. Um, I've learned all this by, you know, just working on the cars and stuff. So it's not like me standing here going, what the crap am I doing now? <laughs> so I have learned some stuff, especially with the tools on the game and everything like that. Um, I unlocked a lot of the useful tools that would help us out. Uh, let's do a compression test. I'm hoping nothing's bad because I really don't want to have to tear down the motor. Looks like him shaft. This guy might have got taken. Um, I'm gonna check and see if yeah it does want us to replace all these because I mean three percent he's not gonna get too far with that. Um, yeah, it's showing that. So I think the first thing is we're gonna knock out the bumper. Um, hang on, actually let me go ahead. I love this add to the cart feature. That is like the best ever. So. We're going to have to go to body panels. Believe it or not, it's the first time I ever had to do the actual like, body shop. Let's see, we're going to get rid of all this. Now, hopefully, he does not want us to like have to buy that. I mean, have to paint it because we can't paint it. 350 bucks for it. It's a good little chunk of change there. 
All right, let's give it that. Now, I'm pretty sure we have the headlights. I can't, I can't paint it because we don't have a paint booth and we don't have the money to do that. But, I mean, I kind of like the silver one better. But, you know what? It is what it is. All right, so let's get out of that. And let's go ahead and fill this up. Well, we're going to wait because I don't know what we're really going to take all to pieces to put all this stuff in. Um, let's go ahead and lift it up because originally it was for uh, turning right. So we're going to check. We'll put all new brake pads and everything on. And then we'll start tearing down in the motor. So we'll get the drivetrain first. And we'll get this bad boy out there squilling wheels. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the brake pads are bad. At least the rims do look pretty good. I mean, they're, they're nice. They're old school, but they're nice. I gotta get a faster impact. I need like a zip done, you know? Gone with the wind. All right, all this looks good. I'm gonna reuse the brake pads and everything. Um, but I do wanna check the steering components while we got the wheel off. Um, I have like a bad tie rod or something. Let's see. The hub. Hub looks kinda I think the hub's kind of shot. So, we're going to take this off. And I really need to get my table so I can start fixing stuff. Looks like the bearing is shot. Nah, it's 75%. I think we can still use it. Um, I definitely want to get a table where we can start fixing stuff. Because that's where we can save some money. He said it was pulling to the right. But that should... I think this car has like 160 some thousand miles on it. And to be honest, like, that's pretty low mileage on cars like this because they're usually you know two three hundred thousand but i don't think this would have made another because we're going to replace the camshaft and this thing had to have some missing and stuff going on all right so all that looks good right there let me get it on here at uh, first i thought we might have slicks on this thing but we don't just look at it's like they tucked that wheel up under there though <laughs> and we'll have to watch out because i was working on a customer's car no actually i was recording and it's like the wheel was wrong and somebody commented like just they'd be putting the wheels on wrong it's like i didn't even think about it because like usually it'll be like the front wheel and then the rear wheel then front wheel and rear wheel lined up in the uh uh lineup for when you put a tire back on i didn't pay attention um i think we're okay i really don't think we need to replace that because i mean this dude's got this dude's gonna have to borrow some money that looks pretty wore out so we're gonna go ahead and slap that off yeah looks like we're gonna have to do two you bolts the bushings is bad it's like this thing is just falling apart and i feel bad for the guy because it's like his dream car but <sighs> yeah he he should have took it to like a garage or something before he bought it the dealer's like oh yeah i just need some brakes well my thing is if you buy it from a dealer or the salesman they should already put brakes on for you because that, that's a key feature. Like, oh, yeah, it's a great car. Brakes might be crap, but, hey, you should buy it right now. It's like, man, you be putting the new brakes on for me now. What's going on? I'll run out and hit something in your car lot. I feel like this dust shield might need uh, replaced, but I'm not going to replace it. We're just going to kind of just go with the flow all right um let me go ahead actually see this is what i like because if you get then you can just basically just do it like that okay so man it's like i'm scared we're gonna run out of money i actually did run out of money a while ago when i was just doing behind the scenes and i actually had to like take an abs module off of another car i was working on and put on one finish it and <laughs> do it like that it was it was it was awful all right so when you have front well, I hope it's 110 bucks. That's a per price one. All right, and then we need, I know we need bushings. Uh, I know we need at least one, and then we need um, two of these, and then also we need a brake. Um, I know we need four brakes. 
I think the rest of the stuff is good. Um, we'll just go as we can. Because like I said, I want to put stuff on that we don't need. Go ahead and slap it. I think the, all, all the calipers look pretty good. They're over 70 some percent. Like I said, we're trying to save money because we don't have a lot of money and I don't want to get stuck halfway through this build. And we're like, oh, well, crap, we ain't getting the money. Because we're still going to have to buy a can shaft and all that stuff. And that crap gets expensive. I wish they'd kind of like give you the money up front or something. Like, all right, well, this is what it is like 50% down right now. Because we, we, we broke his crap up in here. Trying to fix this guy's like mullet machine car, man. Guy rolled up in like cut off denim shorts, you know, cheeks hanging out, drinking, you know, drinking a dag on cords. I was like, what's going on? Guy flipped his mullet. It was like, hey, I bought my dream car. It's like, hot dang. Congratulations. He's like, I need brakes. I was like, is that why you hit my like muffler man sign outside? Uh, <laughs> all right, um,. I feel like we probably need to take this shoe bought off too because you know he's probably gonna be doing some burn skis. You know you we got to lube it up a little bit. You got you gotta have a good little. You know you gotta have a good little. Uh, we might need to replace the bushing. It'd be okay. Uh, you, you gotta have a good uh you bolt. I don't want your dad going rear end falling out. Nothing bad. Nothing's worse than a saggy rear end. You know, gotta watch out. All right. We got that. We got that. It shouldn't fall out now. We're going to put new brakes on this side. Should be able to slap the wheels back on and call it a day. Hopefully. Hopefully that kind of fixes the front. Because we, we do have a lot of rust back here, but... Hang on. Let me make sure it's a big fat whitey. Um, let's see. 235, 235. We got 55, 55. Are they all the same? I'm guessing they are. I thought the back tires would have been a little wider. Dang on, we should have took them off and put the big old wide slicks on. Way this car's going, it probably couldn't even turn them yet. Well, I mean, I'll put big old tires on that car and they're going to play this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> old boom hour. Alright, um, yeah, it's like 4.17 in the morning while I'm recording this. So if it does sound like I'm sick or something, just some reason at late at night my voice gets deeper. All right, I need a I need a wheel burn. I gotta get a wheel burn up in this thing right here. I'm gonna get a burn. Oh burn, oh burn. All right, let me slap a new one up in here. Oh, that wheel burn was good, man. We just wasted like ten bucks. Some again. It's like we got thirty three hundred dollars. Once we get to the junkyard, and start building some cars, we'd be good. But every first junkyard car, I would end up like buying it, stripping the parts, and just hoping I got enough money to, you know put it back together if not we're gonna be running on an old clunker i call it the loner but uh that's where you make your most money is when you start flipping cars and stuff versus just you know doing because i mean you can make 25 you know three grand off stuff like this but it's like when you flip cars that's where you make your money but i gotta make some money to get to that point all right slap that on all right, I think we should be done with the steering, uh, like the suspension aspect of this car. Hopefully, um, yeah, I think we are. We're done with that. I need to do no oil filter, but I'm not going to do that just yet. And I'll fit it. I'll fill up the. Uh, Cooling reservoir or windshield wipe reservoir because apparently that's what it wants. It's like, by the way, the car's good mint condition, brakes are bad, and needs a daggone uh, windshield wiper fluid. Like, if you <laughs> you go and buy this off of a car lot and this ain't even full, and they'd be like, oh yeah, it's, it needs a little brake work, don't buy it because chances are you're getting ripped. All right, so I'm thinking this is going to be our bad fuel rail. Let's go ahead and add it to the car. So I'm going to have to pull this off. Man, we're going to have to, it's going to be a good little, let's see, if I knew, actually, I think I know, I think it is this side. Alright, so all these look good. Well, actually, no, we have one, we have two bad ones. So, I think it's going to be just this side over here. And, I'm going to go ahead and put all new spark plugs in. So I'll take the other side off too, but I'm pretty sure we only have to break this side down. 
Let me go ahead and pull this off. Yeah, this side looks pretty good, but I'm going to have to put new, new spark plugs all the way around. Might as well. I'm glad we did that because we got two bad plugs over here. Alright, so let's pull these out too. Ah, man, I'm scared. Like, I don't really want to have to tear the motor way down. So, it's kind of one of those points. I don't think we're going to get a fine for not emptying oil if we just take this cover off. Uh, if we go any farther, we'll have to do it. But I'm hoping I don't have to go way down in the um, motor because that just gets to be a pain. Hey, man, this is supposed to be like just a tune-up type deal. And I'm like replacing your whole engine. Then come in with like 200 horsepower leave with a thousand. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! America. All right, so it looks like we are going to have to replace the belt. That looks like a bad belt. And it looks like we are going to have to... Oh, man. We are going to have to take all this crap off. So... I might as well go ahead and drain the oil because I don't want to lose any money. Let's put it up here and drain the oil. That guy, it's like, it just, so much for a simple little job, but I knew it was going to be something because it did have like a story behind it. It wasn't just a regular, you know, customer job. It was, you know, this guy was like telling me his whole, you know, whole story. But yeah, man, I've been growing this mullet for like 50 years. I'm like, holy crap, how old are you, 30? I'm like, that girl, you really put like time into that if you grow it for 50 Alright, so let's take this bad boy apart. She ain't got no oil in her. Uh, we need to take the belt tensioner off. All this has got to come off. Unfortunately, I wish we could leave a little bit on there. I don't know. I think all these pulleys are good. Of course, you know, like the farthest bolts down here are going to need some care to them. Oh man, we're having to take all this off and I probably should have emptied the coolant because I guarantee we're probably going to get I knew that was going to happen. Good. I, I love how the can goes through the radiator. It's like, man, I already owe you. Sh no, I wish. <laughs> it's like, let me just stand on the other side of the garage and do it. Alright, so we're going to slap this bad boy off here. Um, I'm trying to take off as less as I need. We'll have to take the crankshaft pulley off. Man, golly. Uh, this car is like nothing but pulleys. It should have been supercharged. It'll be alright. Alright, so we're going to have to take this cover off too. It never fails. Looks like all the bolts are good though. I don't think we got to break out any. Nope, I lied. JK, JK. <laughs> then we'll have to break out the old... WD04. I think it's that's what it is, like WD04 on here. Might, might get that PV blaster, you know. All right, come on, wrench. We need we need faster wrench time, but we broke and we ain't got enough money to. That. All right, so let's pull this bad boy out. Should be able to get to the cam gears. It looks like that belt over here needs. We need a belt on this side too. Um, I don't know if the cam gears, I don't think the cam gears on this side need to be replaced. They look pretty good. Um, so does this side, but we'll pull this off and see what it looks like. Say one so percent. I think we're pretty good. At least we ain't got the hold on there. Um, we're good on this. Let me see what else I need. Okay, we got all that. See, this part's not discovered yet. I don't like that. That's when you start getting into, like, some, like, major crap. Um, all the pistons actually look pretty good. Um, we need, I know we need to do the oil filter and everything like that. Probably need to check uh, the filter... ABS modules. What does that look like? Okay, those look pretty good. Alright, so... I don't know. 
It's like, I don't want to have to replace more than what we need to. And I actually need to get a can for that. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy what we need before we go broke. Alright, so we need one of these. Oh, that's two ninety five. Holy crap. Um, I need, I'm guessing, two of these. And then I need a camshaft. Golly, this light gets costly. All right, let's go to, I need two of these. Many spark plugs. I need eight of them. All right. You think I need a V12? I mean, we work on a V12. Better be some money. All right, so let's go ahead and slap all this back in. We got the new fuel rail. We'll go ahead and put the new plugs in while we're here. Wish we had a dyno. I would have put it on dyno, but that camshaft be that bad. We probably destroyed the motor. Like, boom, what was that, man? I don't know. It was a backfire and blew up the whole daggone. Like, we literally, like, blew up the, uh, the daggone uh, camshaft out the back. Uh, back, back I can't even speak. Like I said, it's like four something here. <laughs> oh, great. Couldn't sleep. I was like, you know what? I should do a video of working on a car. Here we are. Uh, West Virginia. It's like accent coming out. Alright. Oh, uh, let's see. Isla Rolly. We got you. Slap that bad boy in there. It's pretty cool because actually, uh, which is for, you know, in the morning. But yesterday we actually uh, we went to a cruise and everything. Had a bunch of cool cars there and everything. Just put me in the mood to work on a car in a game. I need to work on my IRL cars, but uh, how that goes. Like, like, everything takes money. I like money. I just ain't got enough of it. Alright, uh, let's see. We need to slap that on. Should be good. I'm hoping nothing in the bottom end, but we might take off the um uh, the bottom case or uh, be the oil pan and just see if there's anything we need to do because it says some parts that we haven't discovered and I'm thinking it's probably going to be some like uh, like a bearing a camshaft bearing so we should be able to fix that and I and of course we got to change the oil all right and we put the new cools on I think it's like four or five things that we didn't check. So the next problems will probably be the transmission. All right, man, this thing's got like 575 bolts on it. Um, good with the belt there. I think we're good with that. Belt tensure on 100. We're good at that. And. I'll pull these. We're good. All right, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and put this other one back on. I still got to put. Well, if you let me go over here, I still got to put the spark plugs in, the coal, uh, the coals, and then we'll crank open the bottom of the motor to see if it needs anything. And if that's not it, we'll probably have to remove the dry shaft, pull the trans out, and see if it's the clutch and uh, the the flywheel and stuff, guys. We do have a couple other things going. So we'll probably make around, probably hopefully about three, four grand off this car. Because we have put a lot of stuff in. Of course, like, we're only putting stuff that we know he needs. And we did do a test and everything to show, which is, you know, what was bad. Which I really do like the um, tools. Because then you can kind of point yourself to, all right, well, it's done in this code and we know it's that. All right. So replaced. Wait a minute. Okay, what? Okay, was there four coals? That was bad. It had to be four. Okay, so we're going to have to buy one more of these to put that on because I don't want a bad one. And I'm not going to put new because that was would be like another hundred some bucks right there. Um, let me go ahead and put the coolant reservoir on, or 
put coolant in it because we're not taking the water pump back off. Hopefully we're not. Also, we need to check the fuel filter. Make sure that's good. Looks like we got a bad bushing down there at the bottom. Like I said, if we make this thing 100%, then it was going to be kind of expensive. All right, so let's go ahead and lift it up and see what we got going on underneath. Ba -bum -bum. The car actually doesn't look that bad. Looks like we might have a stuck bolt right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, that was good. And we go. So, everything under here actually looks pretty good, which is good for him, but if we're, we still have some parts that we need to do, bad for us, because then we're going to have to start taking some stuff apart. And like, what's going on with this thing? All right, so, ignition coal. I got one bad ignition coil that apparently I put in. Alright, which one is it? I like how you can do that because it kind of... I think it, yeah. It's supposedly supposed to tell you which one's bad. Alright, 77, 79. Alright, so... Is that a bad one? 72, 70... I just put that on there. It's it's legit there. How is that a bad one? Replace parts at 76%. Hey, this guy be saying like he's like broke and stuff and he's like, replace parts for about 70%. Man, I'll, I'll rebuild this car to be brand new. But you're going to pay. And that's what I'm scared of. It's like I'm scared of like building this car nice and then we don't get the money that we deserve from it. Um... We're going to try. Alright, yes, I can take that. I can unstart that. Um, parts not discovered. We do have to do the oil. Other tasks, we did that. <clears throat> What's the starter look like? Starter looks good. I think we're going to try to take... We're going to take apart the transmission. Because I was trying to see up under there if I could see it. But... I don't think I can. Because usually you can kind of see inside. I know we're kind of cheating a little bit. Actually, I think it actually looks good. Okay, so it looks good to me. Which means I'm not going to replace it. Because that's just a pain. Alright, so let's get rid of the, that. We'll put a new one on. I should have went ahead and just did that. It's going to be a yellow VA one. And I just took a picture. All right. So, we got that. Slept the new man. Let's go all the way back to the end of the garage and do it. We'll get a long stick or something. All right. Putting the new filter on. We're going to put oil in it. I know we got some bad bushings and everything. Pretty sure that's a bad one. Pretty sure that might be a bad one. Um, that looks like a bad bushing. So it's probably every bushing up here. Um, that actually looks pretty good. You can kind of tell because it looks like it can, it's like kind of corroded like that. So this is a bad bushing. Uh... It looks like we might have a bad bushing in that. Yeah, we we'll probably do. Maybe. I'm not sure 100%. I love how you can take all this off. But if you want to take the tie rod or anything like that off, the whole entire wheel's got to come off. But we can take this off. Alright, so we did have that on there. So we should... We should have, okay, so we need to look at for some bushings. Well, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Alright, so we need to buy at least four bushings. 
60 bucks. Boy, that's a good little chunk of change right there. I'm pretty sure that is going to take a small bus. No, actually, there we go. All right, so that might take more than what we thought. So we're going to have to buy a new but We're going to buy, I think, at least one more bushing. Um, you'll put that there and then over in this corner over here. And I'll double check to see if we need... I'll buy three more. I'm sure we can find some. Because I want to take this other arm off and just double check. Well, that one looks good. Let me check this side over here. I can't really see it. All right, so let me go ahead and pull it off. Just double checking. Just double checking. Yeah. I'm about. To, I mean, I I just can't wait till we start doing some junkyard. All right, everything is good there. Um, we'll put some new ones on. I'm gonna fill it up with oil. Um, but first, I think I am going to go back here. Looks like that this cap looks pretty bad so I'll get rid of that spring cap add that to the list um, let's see let's go ahead and buy I, I love this like new shopping thing like I said it's pretty good alright 45 bucks we're gonna go ahead and put that new one back on as I go all the way to the front, I love how that happens. All right, so we'll click this, and all this should be good. I'm pretty sure that was probably one of the problems was the cap. We got three more. It's probably simple stuff. Um, I'm guessing it is going to be that. Maybe. Let's go ahead and pull that out. It, I should have done it while we was at it, but I didn't know they really wanted us to be that picky when the guy said that he would probably have to go get a load. I'm just trying to be nice. And look what it got me. Gotta take it back apart. At least we know the uh, uh, bolts ain't seized on this side. Oh, that looks well. We got one bolt right there seized. Uh, I mean, the rest of this actually looks pretty good. All right, we'll hook three. Actually, see, this is what I like because it's like you can still add it even after you pull it off. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll hook three. Twenty bucks. This basically looks like a dust shield, really. All right, slip that back in. Pretty sure that was one of the pieces that we needed. Um, we got three more. And I've done check, did all my checks. We could probably check with the tire gauge too to see if the tires are good. But then it's like that's where you get big money, and we just ain't got that. And I don't want to have to get another car in here <laughs> to rip apart because I literally did not have enough money to do the uh, ABS module on a car. So I took another job, stole that one. Yeah, from there. I guess that that one might be bad too. We might as well pull it off. It actually wasn't too, too bad, but we're still going to do it. <clears throat> $45 spring cap. Might as well. I don't know if that was like going to be one of the things. But we're replacing it. Alright, hopefully it was. That, that that will knock us down a lot. Yep, so we did that. Alright, we got three more. Now, I don't know if it's going to be just like regular bushings. That's a bad bushing right there. So we got that. And. Looks like we got something. Do we have it? Is this something bad right there? Because like, I'm seeing bad bolts. Yeah, I think we do have something. I should have paid more attention going in here on this. Pull this off real quick. 
Yeah, I, I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess they're just wanting to be extremely picky on everything, which I kind of understand. Let's pull this one. We'll have to get a new axle. That's probably going to be a couple hundred bucks right there. Alright, let's go ahead and pick that. That's 145. That's not too bad. And I need to get a bushing. Well, I get from the cart, and I need, I don't know what in the world that is. All right, so we need one. There we go. Slap that back in, put the wheel on, put oil in it, start it up, and a little rev, and the mullet machine will be on the road. He'll be cruising around, going to bars. I don't know what he's going to do. Alright, picking up chickies. I feel like Joe Dirt would envy this car. He'd be like, man, I like that thing right there. Alright, let's go ahead and slap that bad boy on. Slap it in. And that should be all there. Got to put some oil in it. And then we're actually going to take this thing and let it rip. That's what I'm saying. Let it get it. Alright, do we got... What's our brake flow look like? Uh, looks good. We're going to put the oil in. Slap it in. She's a little bit thirsty. Well, she's a whole lot thirsty because she had it. Yeah. Fill up my cup with that good old. What weight is this? I don't say. Alright. Do we have power steering fluid? Make sure we got some power steering fluid. We do. We should be good to go. We are good on everything here. Alright. let me, You know what? Let's back this bad boy out. Because I do want to hear it run. Because then we, we put some in. I usually just get done. I'm like, oh, I'm done. All right, let's start this bad boy up. All right, yeah. Crank it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me that thing ain't sweet. Hang on, let me shut that door. I got to take a picture of this. This is like the... The car of cars. Not really. I mean, it, it's it's nice, though. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let me get the settings. Well, I'm, I'm trying to become, you know, a, a photographer. I don't know if that's a... Alright, yeah, there we go. Alright, I think I just messed up my top photographer picture. Get a figure. Alright, let me go here. Settings, height, let me go down. Oh, yeah. Okay, alright, let's see how much we get for this. Because, I mean, we did put some work into it. 4,900, that's not bad. We got 6,600. Um, Definitely going to do some barn finds and stuff. I'm working on getting leveled up so we can do some bar finds and definitely some builds. I got some cool ideas for uh, some challenging builds and everything. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. Head over to ghostworkshop.com. Get you some ghost merch, some hamster wheel merch. You don't know what hamster wheels is. Uh, it's kind of like a little uh, garage I run on uh, 5 mm as a, as one of my characters. But anyways, guys, I'm <laughs> out of here. Woo, America. Hey, somebody do a burn out here. You won't. Yeah, do a burn out. Yeah, I was like, we live in like the middle of nowhere. Burn them. Burn them. Okay, get back to me on that.